Okay, uh, welcome to a video about the version 2.2 uh, software, the Step Indexer. Uh, but before we talk about the software, um, notice that the electronics for the project has been moved into this project box uh, compared to the previous video. And um, these buttons have been uh, each wired in parallel with the one on the display and brought out to the front here, so it makes it easier to use. Those little buttons were a little hard to use. Um, one thing that this does, this box does though, is this connector, which we have going to the stepper motor and the temperature um, sensor, it makes it easy for this to be disconnected. However, um, that can be a danger simply because when you, when you power up a stepper motor, there's a great deal of energy that goes into making that magnetic field around the stepper motor so that when you inadvertently pull this out with the power on, that magnetic field will collapse and that energy has got to go somewhere and it will zap your, your uh, stepper driver. So never disconnect a stepper motor while it's under power. And that's true for any, practically any uh, device that uses stepper motors. Um, so that's just a word of caution there. Um, but since we've got it all hooked up, let's go ahead and plug in the power. Here's the flash screen. It says 2.2. That's the new version. And the same modes are... are um, the same modes are present as were there before, the run mode, the angle mode, the jog mode, the ratio mode, the temperature mode, of course, uh, is there. Um, uh, the step mode works just like it did before. Uh, the angle mode works just like it did before. Uh, the run mode, I'm not sure I really went over that, but if we select the run mode, um, um, the run mode just causes to continuously uh, move in the direction indicated. So if we go to hit the right arrow key, you can see that it starts to turn, and it's just going to do that all day long. Um, we can slow it down, though. If we press the down arrow, it'll slow it down quite a bit. Okay. We can speed it back up. There's full speed, and we can make it go the other way by hitting the other And see, there's your, uh, these, the, the direction is indicated on the screen. Now, left means counterclockwise, right means clockwise, but this is turned around, so it's going to move a little bit differently. It just depends on how you've got your gearing set up. So that's the run mode. Um, the jog mode works pretty similarly. Um, instead of doing continuously, though, it moves a certain number of steps. So right now it's set to 1. If we um, hold this down, the type of matic will just um, allow us to enter in a bunch of steps. However, we've got that circle divided up into a large number of steps, so um, even if we set it to say, let's say 50 steps like that, there, that's 50 steps. It's not very many. It doesn't move very much, as you can see. So that's the, that's, that's the jog mode, anyway. Um, we've gone over the ratio mode, the temp mode, uh, and like I said, the step and the angle mode work just like they did before. Um, so. Um, that's, uh, that's it for version 2.2. There's a few other bug fixes and um, the, the new software and a readme file that has some more information about pin wiring is available on the Digital Machinist website. So if you want some more information about it, you can take a look at that. Uh, there's more information um, on the web page. So uh, that's my uh, video. Thanks for watching.